Hello, this is Cosmic Head and we continue our Renpy lessons. So we started working on our beautiful novel, but when we started it's not very beautiful because it's just black void without any images. And from Renpy menu we can open images folder and here is our problem. <laughs> there are no images and most visual novels really need images to be visual novels. So just copy your images into this folder and that's it. So I put some images into this folder. There are some backgrounds and some characters. And what we should do when we work with images, we should name them correctly. All my backgrounds names start with BG, then space, and then the actual name of this background. And as you can see, all this uh, boy pictures start with boy then space and then the variation of the boy picture like boy normal boy set boy shock and so on the first word in the image name is called tag when we have different images with the same tag renpy will know that this is the same image and these are different variations of this image so renpy will know that this is different variations of this boy and these pictures are different variations of some guy called Leo. Renpy is actually pretty smart and it will find any image that is inside images folder so we can create subfolders for our backgrounds and uh, different characters to organize all this mess. Just put backgrounds in BG's folder, this boy in boy folder, Leo in Leo folder and so on. We don't even need to remember these folder names because Renpy will find all these pictures by itself. So to use background in our game we write scene and then the name of our background like BG class. We just write BG class. We don't specify the folder, we don't specify extension jpg or png because renpy will just find this picture anyway when we start our game now we click start and here it is this is our bg class image so it looks much much better than it was we have our background now we need to add our characters we have three characters here bobby then susie and neil and to show a character sprite, we write show and then the name of our character sprite, like uh, this Leo blush PNG. If we need it, we, we write show Leo blush. That's it. We don't write PNG because Renpy will find this image anyway. And here it is. This is our Bobby that is very very beautiful but no one likes him because he's a maniac to hide leo blush image we just write hide leo we don't need to specify this uh, attribute blush because renpy will find any image called leo in the game and it will hide it so we, when you hide images just write the first word in this image's name so after this uh, line is because I kill people, Leo will disappear. This is his first line, his second line, bam, Leo disappeared. And this is Susie's line, so we write show Saki angry. Saki is our <laughs> Susie. And now after Bobby disappears, we see Susie. So we have different expressions for Bobby. So let's change his expression uh, after some line. He is uh, blushing in the beginning and then we can show Leo angry. He is very angry because no one likes that he kills people. As you can see we don't need to hide Leo blush image to show Leo angry after it because uh, we called both images Leo. So Renpy knows that 
this image and this image is a different variations of Leo. So when we show Leo angry, RenPy knows that it must hide Leo blush image. So he is really blushing, bam, he's really angry, bam, he disappears because we hide Leo. And that's why we don't need to hide Leo angry or blush. We just hide Leo and RenPy knows it must hide any Leo picture that is on the screen. In the same way, we can change the background image. Right scene, BG, uh, for instance, corridor. And we'll see what will happen after Suzy's line. We see the corridor image. But as you can see, this Saki angry image disappears. Why? Because the scene command not only changes the background, but it removes all images that are on the screen. As you can see, our images are switched very abruptly, like this or this. And even our background changes really quickly. And to fix that, we can add some transitions. To add a transition, we add with and the name of transition we need, like fade. Let's see what will happen. This is Susie. And now it slowly fades to this background corridor. Let's add some different transition here. Let's write with dissolve. And you can add transitions to hide command and to show command. Let's see what will happen. And when we click, uh, Bobby's face will slowly change to another face, like this. Click again, and we see another dissolve, and then fade. Really, really nice and beautiful. So let's add some other images. I write scene BG street, and I'll add character show girl happy it's our new character and let's see how it looks it looks like this and why does it look like this we'll talk about this in the next video